Today we're going to be looking at how to convert some of the different metric units of length. And as you can see here, we're going to be looking at converting millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. So we have a couple of examples here that we're going to work through, and we're just going to go ahead and jump right in and use the information on the right-hand side to help us as we go along. So in question number one, we're being asked to convert four kilometers into meters. So looking at our info on the right-hand side here, we can see that each kilometer has 1,000 meters in it. So I know that if I have four kilometers, then I'm going to have four groups of 1,000 meters. So whenever I'm looking to convert kilometers into meters, I can just multiply the value of my kilometers by 1,000. So we're going to go ahead and multiply 4 kilometers by 1,000. And 4 times 1,000 gives us 4,000. So 4 kilometers converts to 4,000 meters. So looking at question number 2, we're being asked to convert 5 meters into centimeters. And as we can see here, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So if I have 5 meters, then that's going to give me 5 groups of 100 centimeters. So in order for me to convert meters into centimeters, I'm going to multiply the value of my meters by 100. And 5 times 100 gives us 500. So 5 meters converts to 500 centimeters. Looking at question number 3, we're being asked to convert 4 meters into millimeters. And as we can see here, 1 meter is equal to 1,000 millimeters. So if I have 4 meters, that means that I'm going to have 4 groups of 1,000. So we're going to go ahead and multiply the value of our meters by 1,000 in order to convert the meters into millimeters. And as we know from earlier, 4 times 1,000 gives us 4,000. So 4 meters converts into 4,000 millimeters. So for question number 4, we're being asked to convert 32 centimeters into millimeters. And I can see here that 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. So I know that I'm going to have 32 groups of 10. So in order for me to convert centimeters into millimeters, I'm going to multiply the value of my centimeters by 10. And 32 times 10 gives us 320. So 32 centimeters converts into 320 millimeters. So for question number 5, we're being asked to convert 80 millimeters into centimeters. And you'll remember from the last question that 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. So in order for me to convert 80 millimeters into centimeters, I need to figure out how many groups of 10 I can make out of 80. So I'm going to divide 80 by 10, which is going to give me 8, because I can make 8 equal groups of 10 out of 80. So 80 millimeters converts to 8 centimeters. So for question number 6, we're being asked to convert 900 centimeters into meters. And as we can see here, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So if I'm looking to convert centimeters into meters, I need to figure out how many groups of 100 I can make out of 900. So I'm going to divide 900 by 100 in order to convert it into meters. And 900 divided by 100 gives me 9. So 900 centimeters converts into 9 meters. So I hope this video has helped you to understand how to convert some of the different metric units of length. Thanks again for watching, and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. As always, enjoy today's math lesson.